All right, what's up guys? Uh, good morning. It is late September. Um, we were out here the other day. We got a nice 6.2 pounder. I wanted to fish the south side, the ocean, but uh, it was just too snotty. Um, the surf was just a little too big. I wasn't worried about launching. I was worry worried about beaching. Um, beaching is always the sketchiest part. Uh, you have to think about possibly hurting yourself and or losing gear or breaking gear and uh, prefer not to damage any of my gear. But so we came over the north side. We did pretty good here yesterday and uh, got a nice 6.2 pound fluke, nice two pound sea bass and dropped a couple pretty significant fish. So we're going to give this a go again. We got our Spro Bucktail that we were using yesterday. It was sitting in the gulp juice. Um, we're going to put this on here and get back down there. See what we get. We're using a uh, seven foot St. Croix Mojo Inshore. Uh, medium power fast action, Dio BG 3000, 20 pound power pro to a 25 pound fluorocarbon leader, uh, one and a half ounce spro bucktail with our gen typical combo of um, munched off gulp and a jig strip. And we're gonna give it a go. That has been the killer combo of the season. Um, that's been catching all my pretty much pretty large fish. So we know what the drift is doing now. So let's get back on in and give it a go. Fingers crossed. Alright, first drop. So uh, we have um, flood tide till about noon. So we have pretty much all morning uh, to fish the good solid tide. It is a moon tide so I think we're going to be cranking along here. It's a long way down. And there we go, we're there. Check our drag one more time. A little tighter. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Drifting just around a knot, which is about perfect speed. Anything from like a knot to a knot and a half is just a little bit of a pain in the butt. Sometimes you got to do a little pedal into the tide to slow you down a little bit. Using this light tackle, sometimes it's hard to hold bottom unless you have like a like a three ounce bucktail on or something but we don't, I don't really want to mess around with the three ounce we have them but I don't want to use them let's keep it as light as possible first customer of the day is a nice little fluke got a ways to go until we get them up Actually, now he's fighting like a sea bass. A couple fluke head shakes like a fluke, but... Got a long way to go. Fishing 78 feet of water. Nice sea bass. We've had all day. I'll probably put this guy back. He's a keeper, for sure. Gonna grow up to be a little bit, a little bigger. Oh, this feels pretty good. Let's just drag up a little bit. Oh no! He's back. Boom! Oh, he's back. I don't even think I, I got the bucktail all the way back down to the bottom. He picked it up already. Loosen this drag up so if he runs again. Oh, very nice sea bass. Woo! Yeah, we'll take him. Oh, yeah, he's all of four pounds. Hell yeah. We'll take this guy. I 
I love these things, man. They fight like crazy. They are strong as shit, though. messing around we're gonna put this fish on ice and get back over there and try to now we could keep seven of these things which is sweet seven sea bass man we'd be eating good in the neighborhood so I'm gonna take this bait that's in here this is all bunker if I was fishing the south side but that did not happen Put this up here. Take this guy. Don't flop around. You really mess my legs up. Ow, I just bit my thumb. <laughs> it's all good. It's worth it. I'll be biting your fillets later. All right. Well, we got dinner. That's for sure. Let's uh, let's go back there and get another one. Let's go get a couple more of those. 78 feet of water. Well, 72 right now. 78 feet of water. One of those things, man. Oh, so much freaking fun. I had the drag set a little too tight. I think maybe I might have might just hardly been lips, lip hooked. Lip hooked. So if you find rocky bottom, you'll most likely find black sea bass. Maybe black, even blackfish in the fall. But they, blackfish don't really bite until... Um, water gets a little cooler probably like mid 60s low 60s I got a pretty good spot for that too this fall which I'm pretty excited for hopefully we get a couple opportunities to do some black fishing bottom feels pretty rocky oh come on oh yeah almost lifted up too high not the sea bass but I don't think he's doubt he's as big as the last one Feels pretty good. We are reeling up 72 feet of water. That feels pretty good. As you can tell by the big ones, if they take a really good dive on you, that usually means it's a pretty substantial sea bass. Yeah. Nah. Let this guy go. It's your lucky day, buddy. We're looking for the big guys. We'll be a little picky. Still have all day to fish, so. We're well, supposed to be like this all day, so. We've got plenty of time. You can afford to be a tad picky. Oh, that was a nice fish. It's too busy transferring the freaking rod. Nice fluke. It's 70 feet to go. Getting a little lighter. Oh no, wow. Much nicer than I thought he was. He's probably a 20 inch fluke. If he's 20, we'll keep him. He's under 20, we're not gonna keep him. Yeah, 20 inches. 20 and a half actually, so perfect. We'll keep this guy. We're gonna do a cooler bag transfer. All right, let's do the, the old cooler bag transfer.
All right, he's on ice. Cool. All right, so the tide's just starting to go out. We put a one ounce pink spro bucktail with a five inch grub on it uh, for the early stages of the tide. However, the bucktail is marinating in our gulp juice. He's playing with it. He's thinking about it. It's gonna be a cat and mouse game. Looks like they want it still. There we go. And I'm the cat, bitch. <clears throat> He might be 19, no, he's 16. Nowhere close. He actually might be 19. Like I said, we're keeping 20 inches plus. Doubt it, he's like 17 inch fluke. Oh wow, wait a second. Oh, he is just Touching 19. Nope. No, he's just under. No, he's 19. Let me let that sit in the water. I'm gonna release this guy. We've caught lots of nice fish this season. We released one last weekend, last trip. This time we're gonna release this guy. All right. That was a little cat and mouse game with him. But we got him. Sea bass. Oh yeah, we'll take him. A two pound range. Oh yeah. Nice fluke here, little guy. He might actually be a keeper. No. Oh, wow, he's almost 18. See you later, buddy. Get back down there first. Let's check the lens. Mm. We'll clean it. Oh, 
hundred times a day I do this. Almost every drift I stop and clean the lens. Yeah, look good. Alright, let's get back down there. myself. Coming up a hump right here. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is a nice sea bass. Very nice sea bass. Huge sea bass. Huge! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's even bigger. Holy shit! That is a five pound sea bass. Definitely. For sure. No doubt about it. Look at that freaking meathead. That's a knothead right there. That is a solid, solid, like five pound sea bass. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That is a quality, quality sea bass. That is what you go out there for. I'm gonna measure him in the net so we don't possibly lose him. You don't measure the filament. 21 inches. I say it's hard to tell. I mean, I don't measure from here. I don't measure from here. It's either 22. No, that's 20 and a half inch sea bass. That is a quality sea bass. Cool, we got a nice mixed bag. I mean, we've had a mixed bag, but a solid, serious, nice bag of meat in front of us. I just realized, I don't even have to weigh that thing. And I know that's our personal best in the kayak. I think our personal best is like 3.5. He's easily four and a half pounds. So I stopped to check my leader real quick and I realized the leader is fine. But check out this easy clip. It's seen its better days. Listen, once in a while it's good to check your gear. I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, that's no good. We're gonna change that out. We were probably one big fish away from losing the whole thing. All right, so we got our new easy clip tied on. Um, they're 50 pound test, I forgot to mention that. I don't know if you could read it on the package, but 50 pound test is pretty much all I use for inshore.
right, guys, we're gonna call that a wrap. Uh, the wind's picked up, the tide's pick is pretty much full blown, and we're drifting like crazy. So we've had a pretty good day in the water. Actually, an awesome day on the water. A keeper fluke, uh, three sea bass, and one small one, one that's probably three and a half to four, and our personal best, which is probably touching uh, five pounds. But uh, so awesome day on the water. I'm really glad I took off work. Um, just extended my birthday weekend, so we had a lot of fun. I don't, I don't, I don't really do the whole birthday weekend thing, but um, just did a lot of fishing this weekend because it was my birthday. Um, but thanks for watching. Uh, hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want. Uh, I love hearing suggestions and comments and stuff like that. Uh, and if you su subscribed, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And if you are not, I strongly suggest you hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, thanks for watching.